You should have bought me one back in the early 80s. A big brown cowboy hat. Of course, I never was a hat wearer, but you know, I'd wear it around, but never, never too much to wear it anywhere or nothing. And then years later, I took it to the top of college, years later, I said, well, I'm going to drag that thing out and wear it around here, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe mow y'all. No, I'm just going to. I went in the closet, opened the door, and I realized it hadn't been up there in 10 or 15 years because when, when they broke in the house and stole all that stuff, they stole that hat. Uh, and all that time, I hadn't missed it. I hadn't missed it. Life hacks. Yeah, so it said like at the beginning of the year you should put all your clothes on one color hanger and then every time you wear it and you wash it, you put it on the other color hanger. So then at the end of the year, whatever's on an orange hanger, you know, you haven't worn for over a year, you might as well throw it away because if, if you didn't wear it this year, you're not going to wear it next year. And when I was little, from like right here to over here used to be this giant swing set. And it was just man-made, and it would, uh, it was like man-made swings, so they were huge, so you could just go super far out. And then, I'm not sure what's in these rocks, but over here, my aunt is actually buried. I passed away, wow, nine years ago? Eugenia Shelton, or just Jeannie, Aunt Jeannie, and, uh... Nice woman, died pretty young, you can see. What is that, 60? You know, 47, 13, 60. Uh, she would always make, stayed inside, never went outside, smoked lots of cigarettes, and uh, always made way too much food. Loved to cook. And there used to be a tree here, and inside's a rocking chair, and that's what it's made out of, the same tree. Kind of interesting. And that was Aunt Jeannie and me, El Pachapi, Kirsty, way back in the day. Uh, now here you go, Aunt Jeannie, Kirsty. That kind of cool. Boots, 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 gun, piano. Maybe it's not a spider web. Maybe I see a little worm crawling on it. Maybe the worms made it. I don't know though. I've never seen that before. And Peanut! Peanut, what are you doing? You want a belly rub? Yes, you do. Oh, Alfie wants a belly rub. What's up, Peanut? Is this what I think it is? Oh, yeah. Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Is that croquet? Seems a little out of place. What a what a jolly good time. Old sport. Our goal, just find water. If we can find the stream, we'll find it easy. Brody, we've decided if we find it, we all have to drink from it. That way, if we get sick, we all get sick. Okay. We're in a, we're in a pack all together now. The ravine. Healthy. We just have to be sure we're out of here by dark. Or else if we get hungry, we'll have to eat Olivia. Okay, maybe not. 
See, look at these things. These things are so weird. I can't. Is it for spiders or is it just caterpillars? Yeah, caterpillars. How weird is that? I saw it earlier. It's creepy. Oh, that's scary. It looks like. Did y'all watch Shrek where he like grabs the two spider webs and he like wraps it up and eats it like cotton candy? That's what they remind me of. Alright, we'll find it. We have to. If you guys need a refrigerator, yeah. you've got quite a few, huh? Yeah. Where do they come from? Hey, bro, are you sure you know where you're going? Yes, yes, yes. I've gone down here because I just went down through here like last week. Last week. I mean, I know the ravine, but... Did he just jump down there? Yeah. Look at Al. Oh, look. Al is on the edge. He's jumping. Oh, is he okay? This is very sick. It's on the dangerous trail. Brody's taking us on some Lord of the Rings trek. Maybe maybe we go back and then we we take that other trail that goes that way because then we'll be close, I think. Okay. Which way is the water running? Can you tell? That way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's The master, Uncle Chappie's back, asking where the Fountain of Youth is. Just in time. Like Hunter left and then we all walked to the the spring but we didn't know where it was. We walked to like the ravine where all the, the junk pile. No, you gotta go up. Is it left of the junk pile? No. Where you get the junk pile you go to the right. Okay. And then down that long hill. And it'd be on your right. Go all the way you get to the back fence. Like, like, I'm standing here and all the junk is right here. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where all the refrigerators are and... Yeah. Before you get to them, that road turns to the right. Go to the right before you get to the... Before you get to the junk. You go right? Yeah. Well, I think that's what I was trying to say we ran out of time. You gotta go to the right, right there. Then when you go to the field, see a little playhouse thing sitting on the left, go down that road. You keep going down there, Way really back in there, it's about 17, 1800 feet to the fence. When you get to the fence, take a right. And you walk, follow the fence up there, and you'll see water running down. When you see that water running, go up there, just, you'll see a little dam or something that's there, and that's where the spring is. So you'll see the water from the fence? Yeah. So if we just get to the fence, take a right, yeah. and we'll see water? Yeah. Okay. Well, look. Go look, Spike! I thought Buddy was like an inside dog. Oh, he said he couldn't walk at night. He couldn't walk at night with him all up there. Yeah, he found a football. Oh, watch this. Hey! 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 
man, it's scary. I woke up, you know, they're right outside my house, like right outside my window. This way. And it just sounds like like hell. You know, it sounds like they sound like screaming children. Just keep going right down through yonder. Just take this. Yeah, just follow that road. Then the road runs out, and keep going. You get the fence and take a right. Come on, this way, buddy.